In this section, we are discussing about the geology of Kerala. Kerala forms a part of South Indian granular terrain and it is occupied mainly by Precambrian granulites, gneisses, granitoids, greenstones, and meta sedimentary rocks with minor ultramorphic to felsic intrusives. The stratigraphy of Kerala. Kerala is divided into six stages. It includes the Archean, Neo-Archean, and Protozoic eons, Mesozoic era, and Tertiary or Myopiocene and Quaternary periods. Further, it is divided into many formations. First, the Archeonion. It has a Vina supracrystal formations. The Vina supracrystal formations is also known as Vina group. It mainly consists of ambipolite faces rocks. The ambipolite faces rocks occur as drafts and enclaves in gneisses and granulites. Coarse mica schist with or without kyanite. Kyanite sillimanite schist, felsic volcanoes, bedded magnetite called site, chap thermolite schist, mafic granulite, ampipolite, mectopyrosinite are the chief components of Weinart supracrystals. The Weinart supracrystals is the oldest rock in Kerala. It is exposed mainly in the Weinart schist belt in Kannur and Weinart district. Minor belts are found in Bandaraka sector in Kasargod, Attapad in Palakkad, and Nilambur in Malapuram district. The second stage is the Neo Archeon Eon. And it is classified into four stages layered ultramorphic rocks, Peninsula Nisic Complex, Charnakite, and Condalite Group. The layered ultramorphic and morphic rocks. The layered ultramorphic and morphic rocks are exposed near Kalkandi, Chinnamulli, and Nasimukal areas of Attapari. These rocks mainly consist of Dunite, Pyroxenite, Peridotite, Gabbro, Anthracite. The entrance of morphic ultramorphic rocks represents remnants of Archean Oceanic Crest. The second category includes Peninsula Nisic Complex. It is mainly exposed in Kannur and Vainar districts. The mainly consists of hornblende biotite gneisses and granite gneiss. The third category of neo archean known is the Charnakite group. It is a dominant rock type in the central and northern parts of Kerala. Charnakite in Kasagor, North Kannur, North Vainar district are actually the extension of Cool granulate massive of Karnataka. Charnakite in South Vainar, north of Kolikod, Malapuram, and Palakkad is the continuation of Niragiri massive. Kadama Hills, Charnakite massive of Central and South Kerala, covers Anamala Hills of Palakkad, eastern part of Trishur, Ernakulam, and Kotayam districts. Pyroxenites and elastites are the dominant components of Charnakite rocks in Idiki and Kotem districts. Massively foliated, intermediate and felsic Charnakites are exposed in Tenmala and Ayur in Kollam district. Masi Charnakite are seen in Pepara. Kovalam and Vilnium areas of Tiruvannaburam district. 
The fourth category of neoarchy and neon is the condylite group. The term condylite group is used to designate an assemblage of many rocks like garnet cinnamite, graphite gneiss, garnet biotite gneiss, garnetiferous corso feldspathic gneiss, garnet coarse feldspar neosomes. This assemblage of rock is known as Kerala Condylite Belt. It is also known as Trandral Block, founded on the north by the Achankovil Shear Zone and south by the Nagarkovil Massif. Lenses of condylites are reported from Vamanapuram, Tepara, Kallara, and Ponmuni. Gan biotype gneisses is seen throughout Nedamangada, Vamanapuram, Archingal, Vidura, and Bonakad extinct. Condylite group of rocks are reported from the northern flank of Palakkad Gap. Then the Potrozoic Eon. The Potrozoic Eon is categorized into six categories named Micmacchi Complex, Wingard Formation, Marfic Dice, Basic and Ultra Basic Intrusive, Emma Chanaka, Felsic and Alkaline Intrusives, Micmacchi Complex. The Nysic rocks in North and Central Kerala are grouped under the Peninsula Nysic Complex. Nysis in Northern Kerala comprises of hornblende gneiss, hornblende biotite gneiss, and biotite gneiss of late Archean Eon. Mygmatization is seen in the ETG gneisses in several areas in North Kerala. Mygmatized hornblende biotite gneiss occurs in Pediar Valley and Munar areas in Idiki district. The granite gneiss, the biotite gneiss and associated migmatites occurring in the southern continuation in Todupuda Pina regions of Idiki, northeastern parts of Kotayam are designated as migmatic complex. The second category of Potrozoic Eon is the Vengard Formation. The Vengard Formation consists of low-grade meta sediments exposed along a north-northwest-south-southeast trending stretch in the Karnur district from Panur in the south to Morera in the north. Vengard Formation has very rare exposures. Demarcation is mainly made on the basis of the well section data. The aerial extent of Vengar formation is limited only to 300 square kilometer. It unconformly lies above the dice with polymetric conglomerate as its base. Conglomerate is exposed intermittently along a 200 meter wide stretch for 4 kilometer from Kurumpakkal in the south to Vengar in the north. The best exposure of Vengar formation is found in Anjurakandi River section. The third category of Potrozoic Eon is the Mafic Dikes. Potrozoic and Panerozoic Mafic Dikes emplaced into the arcane crystalline rocks are seen in many places in Kerala. The Potrozoic Mafic Dikes are metamorphized along with the country rocks and are recognized as Epidiorite and Ambiborite. Dolorite Dikes Farm is found in Agali Anakati area of Attapadi. Older basic dikes occur at Pallachan in Kannu district. Basic intrusive bodies are traced in Achakovil Shearson in Varnamutam and Kulashegara Petta. The fourth category of Potrozoic Eon is the basic and ultra basic intrusive and it is again subcategorized into Perinhatta anorthosite, Cuticulum Kara Gabro, Adalactoda Gabro, and Begu Diorite. The first category in the basic and ultra basic intrusive is the Perinhatta anorthosite. 
It is an electrical body of anorthosite spread over an area of more than 50 square kilometer and it is reported from Perintata of Kannur district. The anorthosite has a very irregular border and a tongue like projection into the country rock of Charnakai and pyroxene granulite. The Perintata anorthosite is assigned as protosoic age. The second category of basic and ultra basic intrusive is Carticulum and Carao Gabbro. The two Gabbro plutons, namely Carticulum Gabbro and Carao Gabbro, are located in the northeast of Manandavadi. Gabbro and Carticulum occupies an area of 45 square kilometers with an elliptical shape. The third category of basic and ultra basic intrusive is Arakathod Gabbro. It is an east-west trending 8 km long epsodal gabroid pluton. It is located at Anagathod near Manandavadi in Vaina district. It has patches of coarse theoretic schist and biotite lysos. Then the fourth category, Bago diorite. It is an extensive diorite pluton with an aerial extent of 25 square km. It is found in the Bago reserve forest north of Manandavadi. The rock consists of pink to grey feldspar, hot blood, and biotite. The Engel Charnakite in Potrosoikia. The Engel Charnakite. The massive Charnakites of Kela were formed by the regional metamorphism of pre existing metamorphic or igneous rocks of varying composition during the late Charnian to the early Potrosoic times. The main occurrences of Engel Charnakite is found in Ponmudi, Kottavattam, and Manandala areas. Then the final category or uh, the sixth category of Potrosoic Eon is the Felsic and Alkaline Endrosis. And it mainly includes nine subtypes. First, the Ambalaval granite, it is an oval shaped granite covering 50 square kilometer. Second, Kalpatra granite, it is also on an oval shaped intrusive covering 44 square kilometer. Third, Perelimala granite, it is an east west trending intrusive body with 15 km length and 3 km width. Edimala proton, Gabro graporine granite complex covering 20 square kilometer. Shaya granite. It is exposed in Kutayakal Mala and Bachapadi in Attapadi Valley. Muna granite. Muna granite is a east west trendy irregular body with a 50 square kilometer area. Chengalu granite. It is an oval shaped body covering 15 square kilometer. Mandapra cyanide. Mandapra in Trishur is a northwest southeast body covering 8 square kilometer. Metals. These are observed in the felsic rocks in Kerala. Coarse vines, thin and discontinuous veins are found in Attapadi Valley, Nilambur Goldfield, Manaska 1-2 area of Malapura.